Hey guys, this is Jamal with Gospel Musicians coming at you, and we're coming at you with another video. I am a child of the 80s, so I grew up in the era of hip hop, run DMC, like that was the coolest thing to me growing up. So I, as I grew up playing gospel music and playing in the church, I always had an affinity, especially for the jazzier side of hip hop, like, you know, Tribe Called Quest and The Roots and all that other stuff. And I was always fascinated with the beat making process and the chops and 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 what uh what a guy would do would just pretty much take a whole bunch of jazz albums and a whole bunch of old school albums and take a jazz lick from here and a jazz lick from here and a jazz lick from here. So you can understand how torn I am in this generation where they're pushing people towards non musicianship. So basically you can go on splice. You can you can rip chords, you can rip beats, you can rip licks and instruments, instrumentals, and you splice them all together, hence the name Splice, and you have a whole hit album and you haven't even played an instrument. You haven't even really mixed it. You just pretty much used everybody else's stuff. So in this last age, you know, people have been telling me, Jamal, why don't you make some chops? Why don't you make your library? And I've been resisting it, probably because I'm old school, but um, I'm slowly getting acclimated into this new environment the good thing about the musicians is that musicians who take time out with their craft can be the ones producing that and selling this stuff but anyway i digress so what i wanted to do is 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 use one of the videos that i did um the neo soul movements and give it over to my boy jay filt over at very so very sick beats he's he's one of the he's a gospel cat actually and he has that same passion i have but he you know he went further into it so what he did he took the video i did and he chopped up uh some of the chords so two parts he can show you how to chop up the chords and he's showing you how to do that in the new logic update which musicians are telling me is absolutely ridiculous when it comes to chopping and the sampler. So he's going to show you how to do that. He's going to chop it up. And hopefully this will motivate musicians to get into your craft and learn an instrument so that you don't have to be the chopper. Or you can be the choppy. <laughs> People chop for me. And so you don't have to crate dig. You're your own crate digger once you learn theory and stuff like that. So anyway... I'll hand this video over to my man, um, Jay Filt at Very Sick Beats. Bam, here he goes. He's going to show how he did one of my videos and chopped it up. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm out. Example on what you could do. So here are some chords. This was a jam session that he actually sent to me, man, and this is crazy. And uh, let's, let's listen to a little bit of it. So this chord is just... Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm always listening for chords and, and little phrases, you know, that, that I could maybe loop or chop up. So anyway, um, I found a little piece of this that I wanted to take. And uh, I'm gonna show you the capabilities that you could do. Where, if I could find it, where, was it this? I think it was right here. I think this was it. Yeah, this little section right here. Check this out. You know, so I found I found that part. I was like, wait a minute, let me just take that piece, right? So I selected it, and then I bounced it into a, a wave you know, a WAV file. And now I'm going to take that little piece and drag it back into the program. So all I did was just, I just selected this little piece right here and bounced it into a WAV file onto my desktop. And that is over here. And I'm about to drag it back into Logic and insert it into this quick sampler See this? And if you guys are not hip to Logic, the, the upgrade, since they upgraded, I'm telling y'all, man, this is crazy. So anyway, 
Now I can chop this up, man. You know, so I can make this like lo-fi, boom bap, sofa, whatever I want to do with it. So what I'm going to do is chop this up. So first thing I want to do is change this to mono and then um, slice it. I want to slice. Change the sensitivity. And let me see. You have these different modes. I actually want to do this manually. So instead of using transient and beat divisions, I'll just do it manually. That means I can just set up my own chops. So I'll do that one. I like that. So notice I'm like chopping at all the individual chords. That way I have more manipulation. Then it's just a matter of like doing what you want to do with it. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. I can even change the key of it. Let me see. Let's do this. Let's um kind of like that. <laughs> so that's cool. Then uh, let's go ahead and uh, add some drums, man. Let's see. like a bass line to it now even though the sample has bass i always love layering my own bass so i could just do something simple man just maybe one or two notes here and there but you got to find and since you're using your ears you're going to find a note that matches the sample and just start at one chord at a time if you need to mm. and if you have a hard time struggling, just hum it out. Hum out the note until you find it on the keyboard. Mm -hmm. And there it is, something like that. Let's give it a shot. Let's go. That's all I'm gonna do. Maybe add one more sound, like, you know, just to kind of add a little spice to it. Maybe a string instrument. Put a little pitch bender in there. And there you go. And that's all just from sampling yourself.